And so I'm here to tell you as Premier of Alberta that uh, I intend to um, restore the people's trust in government and I will uh, endeavour to show to Albertans that uh, they deserve our faith and our confidence and that uh, illustrate that we can wisely exercise the authority that has been given to us to work uh, with them to shape this province's future for our children and for our grandchildren. And so over the course of uh, the summer, I promised that I would improve accountability and good governance, uh, that I would put an end to the, uh, the so-called culture of entitlement by enforcing rules of good government, by creating the conditions to ensure that the highest ethical standards uh, of accountability uh, would take root amongst those who serve the public. Uh, this will apply whether they are elected officials, whether they are political staff, or whether they are high-ranking uh, civil servants. And so um, amongst the first actions uh, I intend to uh, undertake when the legislature resumes in November is to introduce uh, a new Accountability Act to restore accountability, uh, discipline and integrity uh, to government. And anyone who wishes to be part of, uh, of this government going forward uh, and anyone who wishes to be part of, uh, of my team will be held to the highest possible standards of public service. Um, I will be working hand in hand with the Ethics Commissioner, um, with the Legislative Assembly, with the opposition parties, uh, with others such as the Chief Electoral Officer, the Public Service Commissioner and the Ombudsman to make sure that we uh, garner uh, input from uh, a number of sources and to make sure that uh, the legislation that ultimately is introduced in the Legislative Assembly uh, has the best possible accountability measures. Um, I begin by saying every person who is employed in my office or in the offices of uh, any of my ministers uh, will be required to uh, make voluntary disclosure to the Ethics Commissioner of their financial status and their holdings, their employment history, uh, and any uh, possible potential conflict. And that work is ongoing at this point. As I promised over the summer, uh, we will eliminate um, what I have referred to as sweetheart severance packages for political staff uh, that have in the past been, t been paid uh, no matter how their employment was terminated. Uh, in the future, severance packages for political staff will only be paid when an employee is terminated without cause and will be um, fully consistent with public sector standards that apply to uh, people in the public service uh, in Alberta. No one will profit by leaving a job that they have held uh, for just a short period of time. In addition, uh, we will introduce measures so that uh, registered lobbyists will be prohibited from taking on uh, government contracts. Uh, people will need to make a choice between working on behalf of others to influence government on the one hand or on the other hand uh, working directly for uh, the citizens of Alberta. I guess I would like to comment uh, first of all that I was a little surprised to hear Mr. Prentice say that he is doing things that uh, no one has ever and indicated that they will do before. And that's not really true. I'm sure he probably meant in terms of, you know, successive premiers. <coughs> but those are all things that the opposition parties have been proposing for a long time. So Mr. Prentice has spent his first two weeks catching up to the NDP. Um, and uh, I think that he's demonstrated a tremendous grasp of the obvious.